What's going on YouTube? So there are a few vehicles that have been hyped up as much as this reborn Bronco, which Ford has seemingly been talking about for at least the last decade. But now the wait is finally over. Next to me in the flesh is the new Bronco, designed from the ground up to take on the Wrangler and seize the crown for best off-roader in America. But does it live up to the hype? Let's go ahead and find out. All right, so let's start off with the most obvious place, and that's going to be the exterior styling. I think this is a big reason why everyone has been so excited about this, because Ford has done an excellent job with the way they've styled this. It basically has enough retro cues that you have that linkage to the former Broncos, but it also looks fully modern at the same time. So up here in the front, you've got the new Bronco grille. Every single version of this is gonna have a different uh, variation of this grille. This is the outer bank, so what we're going to have is the full gloss black finish. We have the white Bronco branding that runs through here. And then normally you're going to have a regular bumper, and then the metal bumper will be reserved for the really off-road focused trims, but we actually have it optional onto this outer bank. Now let's also talk about the uh, headlights for a second as well. So you're going to have full LED headlights, on every version of the Bronco. However, if you choose the outer banks or above, you're going to have the higher end LED headlights, which have the really nice looking circular daytime running light, as well as this extension that comes out with the daytime running light and the turn signal indicators. Now let's drop on down here because of course, off-road ability is the big deal with the Bronco. So every version is gonna have 8.4 inches of ground clearance as standard, however, uh, what you have available is the Sasquatch package. That's a big deal. It's available on every single trim level, and it's gonna add a lot of features that enhance the off-road ability. One of those things is increased ground clearance. So that's gonna bring you up all the way to 11.6 inches of ground clearance, which is a class leading amount. Now I won't bore you with all of the different numbers, but the Sasquatch package does also for really enhance your approach and departure angles. You also have 33 and a half inches of water fording ability, which is also class leading. Now, just like with the front, you have a really large selection of different wheel and tire combinations for this Bronco, starting with 16 inch steel wheels and working your way all the way up to this 18 inch contrast alloy as the biggest and most luxurious option. Now, choosing the Sasquatch package on any of those trim levels is gonna sub in 17 inch gloss black and beadlock capable wheels with 35 inch mud terrain tires. Coming above that, we do have our Outer Banks branding, of course. And then you do have your mirrors. The big news with these is the fact that this is actually mounted up here to the front pillar. So when you pull the doors off, you don't lose the mirrors like you do on the Wrangler. And then as far as your features are concerned, blind spot monitoring is available on most of the trim levels. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and talk about how you can get the Bronco because of course that's a very important part about any vehicle like this. It is available in two-door or four-door configurations. Obviously we have the four-door version right here and we are going to have that very signature squared off look and you're also noticing the top. That's a very important part of any vehicle like this as well. We have the soft top with this particular model that is the standard option and you can option on a hard top if you want that. Now walking around to the rear design of the Bronco. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love the way this looks. It really has just such a cool look to it. I mean you can't do a lot with the styling of a vehicle like this but I think it has such a rugged and cool design that Jeep owners as well as Ford owners are definitely going to love and appreciate. So we're gonna have the big spare tire up here in the middle. We have our brake light in the middle of that. And then as far as the brake light components themselves, these are actually gonna be full LED, including the turn signal and reverse light if you opt for the LED headlights in the front. 
and then dropping below that we don't have exposed exhaust outlets but we are going to have a 3500 pound tow rating regardless of which model you have now the Bronco isn't going to give you all of your safety systems as standard equipment, but they will give you more than what you would find in a Jeep Wrangler since you're going to have forward emergency braking and auto high beams standard on all of the models. And if you go for at least the Outer Banks model, that's going to throw in the blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist. And then you have the option to add on adaptive cruise control on those models. Well guys, that wraps up the absolutely amazing design of the Bronco on the outside. Let's go ahead and check out the inside before we take it out in a spin. And before we do all of that, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below and also left us a like. So heading up to the Bronco, you will find a standard keyless entry system. Uh, and you can option this on to your lower trim levels, but on this outer banks and above you have the smart entry system. As you can see, we have the Bronco branded key fob. We also have remote start built in. And since this is a smart entry system, that means there's going to be sensors behind the handle. So just grab to unlock. All right, and take a look inside this cabin. First thing you might notice, we have some really cool animations going across the main infotainment display as well as in the gauge cluster. And as far as the cabin itself, it's got a really cool rugged design as you would expect for the real Bronco. We also have some luxurious touches since this one here is the outer banks. Now let's go ahead and talk about your different interior color and material options. So depending on which trim level you're going to choose, you've got three different seating materials. So you have cloth seats. You have marine grade vinyl seats, and then you also have available leather seats, which is what we have on this Outer Banks as an option. Uh, as far as your color choices for the Outer Banks, you have this gray and navy pure color combination, which I really like. And we also have a black and roast color combination. Now turning over here to your door trim, of course, the doors themselves can be removed, so there's not gonna be a whole lot going on with the door trim. Ford does nicely include a little area as an armrest with the Navy Pier vinyl. We have a, a color contrast piece above here as well. And you do have your door locks on the doors and your door handle, of course. Otherwise, your window switches and stuff are gonna be over there on the center console. We'll look at those in just a second. And we do also have the optional storage nets. Taking a look down here at our seats, we've got the 10-way power adjusting seat with two-way lumbar support. Like I mentioned, we do have the contrast leather seats. Really like the way these looks. I, I love the color combination and I like the design as well with the Bronco embroidered in it and lots of nice stitching details throughout. Now, uh, one thing I do wanna mention before I get inside, frameless glass uh, windows here. So this is supposed to make it a little bit easier when you remove the doors. And then getting inside is actually quite easy because we do have running boards as well as this nice grab handle to get up. Now taking a look around the rest of the cabin. Like I said, this is the Outer Bank, so this does include a little bit nicer selection of materials, but everything in here is, of course, always gonna be adequately rugged so that you can use it with the top off. So across the upper dash, this is gonna be finished in a hard touch plastic, but it does have a nice texture. As we move down, we have this large silver piece here with the Bronco branding. We've got some more of this textured plastic through here. Of course, you got a really nice grab handle on the passenger side as well as over there. And all the pieces in here do fit together extremely well. This feels like a very well put together and very tough cabin. Now start up, put your foot on the brake and press the standard button across all of the Broncos. Now after startup, we can take a look here at the gauges. This is a nice combination of both analog and digital. So of course you've got your regular display over there and then you've got this large display uh, which can be reconfigured with a pretty good variety of information on there. So you can use this steering wheel control right here. You can uh, scroll through quite a bit of different varieties of information. 
and then you also have this line of flex display off here on the side, which includes things like your off-road status. Now pulling back to the steering wheel, all but the base model will have a leather wrapped one. We do have a specific Bronco design with the emblem in the middle there. Of course the wheel itself is going to be manual tilt and telescoping. Uh, heating is available as an option on the outer banks if you go up one more trim from this one and get the luxury package or otherwise known as 314A. But let's go ahead and evaluate the interior storage next. So underneath our center console here, you can open this up. Pretty nicely sized. We do have a removable tray, which we can toss to the side there. And once inside, it is quite deep. Nice felt lining at the bottom. And there's a 12 volt outlet. I anticipate that a really thick stack of coupons is gonna fit in here, no problem. Yeah, so with plenty of room to spare, it does fit in there, which is certainly nice. This is uh, lockable, by the way, in case you have the roof off. And then up in front of that, that's where you're gonna find your panel for your uh, window switches that I was mentioning earlier and your mirror controls. All four of these are gonna be one touch automatic. You got your two cup holders. We also have another large storage area up here in the front. This will be a wireless phone charging pad with the luxury package. And we do have a USB-C and a USB type A. There's also several Easter eggs through here, including your little plate there uh, with your where the vehicle is manufactured. Of course, you have Bronco branding on the shifter and a little American flag. Now, looking at the shifter itself, of course, we've got the automatic, so you're just gonna pull back for drive. You can go back again if you want to shift manually, but there are no paddle shifters on the steering wheel. And then heading into reverse, we do have a 360 degree camera system um, with our 313A package on this outer banks. As you can see, really impressive because we have the huge display, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second, but this uh, 360 camera takes up the entire thing. We do have active trajectory as well as front and rear parking sensors. You can go up here if you want to change the angles like so. And again, really huge and great resolution. And if you're on the trail, you can also use this system, of course, to help you with your off-roading by just pressing that button. You can activate it at any time. There is also an electronic parking brake off to the other side of the steering wheel. Now moving beyond that, uh, the next thing you come up to will be your climate controls. Of course, manual climate will be included on most of the trim levels. We have the dual zone automatic climate on the outer banks here, which operates the same as you would expect. Of course, you just have two knobs right there. Physical controls that run through the middle, including for your fan speeds. And then we also have three stage heated seats included with this outer banks. Now up above that, we have physical audio controls as well. So most of the models are gonna come with a six speaker sound system, including this one. Uh, there is also an optional Bang & Olufsen premium sound system, which you can get if you choose the luxury package on this outer banks, or is included on some of your higher uh, trim levels. And we'll go ahead and sample the standard version right now. <laughs> this system is actually quite nice obviously uh, in a vehicle like this where you can take off the doors you're kind of limited to where you can put the speakers but the sound quality really hasn't suffered much because of that okay so now we are up here at our display so this is uh, of course the big display like I mentioned this is the 12 inch display the standard display is going to be 8 inches um, and what you're running is basically the latest version of sync this is the sync four system with all the latest graphics and hardware. Uh, right now I'm in the Android Auto ecosystem. As you can see, it does run just kind of inside of the main display here. Uh, this is wireless. So with the Sync 4, it's going to be wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay abilities. With the large display, we also have the built-in navigation system right through here. And just like in the other four products like the uh, new F-150, you can just immediately tell how improved the performance is with this new Sync 4 system. Just check out all those nice animations and how quickly everything responds. Uh, certainly very nice. And as you can see, you can just flick something over to make it full screen. Moving above that, we do have an auto dimming mirror. Homelink remotes are available with the luxury package. And then up at the top, you'll notice we have these little switches here. Um, like we've seen with 
some vehicles like the Ford Raptor, you basically have built-in power switches so you can attach different accessories and then flip these on to power them. Pretty cool. And then obviously up here at the top, uh, no moonroof of course because this is designed to just take the roof off itself. Now the Bronco's rear seat is certainly a very fun place to be because that's what this Bronco is really all about is the fun and off-road vibes that you're going to get sitting here and we do have the four-door version so four people can very comfortably fit back here. Now of course if you do get the two-door version you will have rear seats still in that model but from what I've heard in reviews we haven't had the opportunity to sample that but what I've heard is that this is going to be a lot more comfortable if you're planning on having company along with you. Now as far as your space is concerned we have 36 inches of legroom, 40 inches of rear headroom. That's a touch behind what you're going to get out of the Jeep Wrangler uh, but certainly there's not any problems with the space back here since I have around five to six inches of leg room behind your seating position and my feet can slide easily up underneath of the seat. One thing that I do want to mention here that's probably the most notable thing in the rear is that this roll bar right here is actually behind the second row. Uh, so if you have the top back, you're going to have the full open air experience, whereas the Wrangler has the roll bar here in the middle, which kind of divides it up. So I'm definitely happy to see that. And that gives you a little bit of a cooler experience back in the second row. As far as the features are concerned, we do have uh, our window switches here in the center since you can remove the doors. And we also have a USB type C, a charging USB. And I'm also very pleased to see that we also have a household outlet. And then we can fold down the center armrest and it does have cup holders inside. Now, just like the Wrangler, this rear area is going to open in the same fashion. So you have the handle here on the side and you can open this up and it does open to the side. And it does also have this nice uh, hydraulic thing here to make it a little bit easier to open. And then as far as this piece right here, since we do have the soft top, uh, in order to get this open for you to use like the cargo area just a little bit easier, you locate the little levers on both sides. You push them at the same time and then that will allow you to lift it up just a little bit. And then you also have this thing right here to kind of go down and clip into place so that you can use this cargo area a little bit more if you have the top in place. Now, as far as the cargo measures themselves for the four door, you are gonna have more space with this model. So you're gonna have 36 cubic feet behind the second row seats. That expands to 78 cubic feet if you fold the seats down. That goes without saying, that's actually a lot of space. So you will, really will be able to haul a lot of stuff on your off-road adventures. And of course, you can take the top completely off and I guess stack as high as you wanna go. Now, as far as other things back here, one thing that uh, Ford has thrown in is a 12 volt outlet here on the right side. We also have LED lighting. And I do also want to mention that Ford says you can store all four doors here in this rear area. Now, since we have opted for a higher end model, we do actually have a power passenger seat. I'm surprised to see that. And then in front of me, I do have a really good size glove box. It's very squared off like the rest of the vehicle is. Um, and it fits the coupons in here just fine. So not only can you do off-roading and have adventure there, you're gonna have adventure at the restaurants, giving them coupons and saving money there. Now up top, we do have a fixed sun visor here and this, uh, a pillar here we also have lighting as well as a mirror and we can detach it and it has a really long extension all right and there's 60 miles per hour with this all-new bronco so this actually has the standard engine, even though as you can see, it's pretty quick. Yeah. So this is your 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged four cylinder engine. It's gonna be making healthy numbers of 300 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. Yep. Now, of course you can also get an optional engine, although I don't really think that you would need it in this Bronco. That's gonna be a 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 with 330 horsepower, 415 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, I think what I noticed particularly is when you uh, first get onto the throttle, the torque really pushes you back in the seat. 
Yeah. Yeah. Feels quite nice. Now let's go ahead and talk about the transmission situation. So, uh, one of the big news stories of this is the fact that you can indeed get a manual yep. transmission. So, with the base engine only, uh, you can get a seven speed manual that's going to be a six speed manual with a dedicated crawler gear. Or, as with this example, you can also get a 10 speed automatic transmission. As far as the automatic we're driving today, just like in other applications within Ford's um, really impressive transmission. Yeah. It's got a ton of gears, but it, it never really seems to get confused or anything like that. And you can also you know, drop several gears at once to give you the power you need as soon as you need it. It's a good partner with this engine. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, I do also want to just mention here for a second now that we're up to speed, just kind of the ride quality and all that that you're going to get out of this Bronco. Um, I'm very impressed with the ride quality of this model. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is the Outer Banks right here. So this is the more luxury focused one. So that could have something to do with it. But I really do feel like this has a, a better ride quality than the Wrangler. Um, it also seems quieter in here. Once we get up to highway speed, we will get that sound level reading. Now, obviously, it's not quiet by any means, but um, it, the uh, Outer Banks with this package also adds additional sound deadening. So it's, it's worth noting that you can kind of get the Bronco however which way you want. You know, if you want uh, the more luxury focus with a little bit more sound deadening, you can do that. Or you can go for the more rugged. Right, and well. we have the more street-oriented yeah. tires as well. The 35-inch mud terrain with the Sasquatch, <laughs> I would imagine those make Pretty quite loud. a bit yeah. more noise <laughs> on the highway. All right, so we're up to the 55 for our usual highway sample. We'll go ahead and grab it now. Sixty point five decibels. Um, that that definitely is better than the uh, Wrangler. I think the Wrangler is sitting at like sixty three to sixty six um, decibels. So uh, that's certainly an improvement. Uh, only thing I will say, I hear a little bit of wind noise. I guess we have the soft top, so you can hear some wind noise coming on in the back. Yep. That's of course expected out of anything like this. Right. And. If you know, take the top off and enjoy the wind in your yeah. hair a lot of the times, or just choose the hard top, which will be a little more insulated. Now, as far as your drive trains are concerned, you're going to have, of course, standard four-wheel drive for the Bronco. You would expect no less. You do have two different four-wheel drive options, though. Uh, we have the standard one on this one, but you do have an optional advanced electromechanical uh, four-wheel drive system, um, and that has the automatic engagement, whereas this one just is regular. <clears throat> and, of course, you got your GOAT modes as well. Yeah. No Bronco would be complete without your GOAT modes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have a lot of different selections on that. It's going to be normal. you got sport, eco. Don't know why you'd use that. <laughs> but, of course, the more important stuff is slippery, off-road, and mud. Since we were talking about the eco mode, the fuel economy for this one as equipped is 20, 22, 21 combined. There are infinite amount of fuel economies for the different Bronco models, so you're just going to have to look on whichever trim level you have because there's too many for me to talk about today. Certainly quick enough to put a smile on your face. Yeah, that was in the sport mode there. Feels even a little bit more lively. Now let's talk about our air ball and our slam dunk. So for the slam dunk, um, you know, really there's just a lot to like about this new Bronco and that kind of is what the slam dunk is gonna be. The fact that, um, you know, a lot of brands have kind of tried to come up with like a good Wrangler competitor, but it kind of feels like Ford has finally been able to achieve that uh, right now. Yeah. You know, like, there's just so much to like about this new Wrangler, or the, this new Bronco, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and comparison to that Wrangler, like, this yeah. really is going to give it a run for its money. Yeah. They will sell a lot of these Broncos, and that is for certain. Um, our airball today, we struggled to come up with this, but what we're going to say is we'd really love to see Ford add more powertrain options. 
Uh, I have no issues with this powertrain or the other engine option, but the Wrangler really knocks it out of the park by giving you literally any available option that you want for powertrains, so I'd like to see even more added. Uh, definitely a plug-in hybrid or something like that. And for your pricing for this all-new Bronco, the four-door models, so I'm going to read it off this four-door. You can also get the cheaper two-door option, but the base one's going to be 33200 You have about 400 different trim levels going all the way up to the first edition that starts at 61110 which does make it a little bit more expensive than the Wrangler. This one as equipped with several options, being an Outer Banks four-door, plus the destination charge of $1,495 rings in at $49,250. Now, of course, we do have this from a dealership, so we're not going to do any hardcore off-roading, but, um, you know, maybe, maybe Ford will send us one that we can test out even maybe. more extensively Please in the future. Ford. That'd be nice. <laughs> Tell Ford we want one. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, this Bronco, you said we said at the beginning you know does this live up to the hype because this is like i said been hyped up for years and years and years at this point and we finally have it in our possession and i have to say yes yeah. it really does um you know when you experience this in person you realize that not only does it you know match what the really high bar that the wrangler has already set but in a lot of ways it does exceed that as well and you know this is just really a fantastic overall vehicle even and a vehicle uh, this trim level here it even has some comfortable features in addition to all of the amazing capability and the really cool styling that's on board well guys we really appreciate you tuning in to this in-depth review of the all-new 2021 ford bronco if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in your pur purchasing decisions, please be sure to pay us back by hitting that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to you and all it's gonna do is give you notifications on our most recent content. So why wouldn't you wanna push that and also tap the notification bell to get notified on our content. Anyway, we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies. Oh. <laughs> Don't move that just yet. What? <laughs> my dumbass didn't even attach the microphone to my shirt. I just said all of that without this even clipped onto my shirt. What? It was, it was in the floor. It was just sitting in the floor. <laughs>